Ladies, I'm Lanikia, and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the Bold and the Beautiful Edition. Today is Wednesday, January the 11th, 2013. 2013? 2023? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Y'all, I will be going live on the 13th, Friday the 13th. That's this Friday, 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 4 on the West Coast. Please join me if you would like to. All right, y'all. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this a 7. Um... Okay, so we see Eric and Taylor, and she's like, uh, she tells him, she she told him she had lunch with Brooke, and he said, oh, really? And she said, yeah, we had lunch, and, you know, and they're like, we, we're building a great friendship, and he said, that's good, and then she tells him about wanting to go to the house because she's sure that Sheila is in prison, they're wrapping it all up, um, and Steffi and Finn had to go and testify, and Eric was like, really? The judge called this? Because he sounded surprised by it. And I said, you know, I was telling y'all the other day, why are they just in his chamber? I like, but anyway, she said, yeah, I guess it's just part of what they have to do to try to um get everything settled into place so they can um prosecute Sheila. And so she tells Eric, I gotta go. I gotta make we're, we're gonna celebrate. And he's like, All right then, girl. So then we go back and they pick up where they left off. Well, they rewind where they left off. Rewind. Uh, and we see Steffi like, what? No, you can't let her go free. You cannot let Sheila go free. And Sheila getting up smiling like, and <laughs> got him. And so then Sheila gets up and she leaves out and she turns around. And y'all know Sheila got that little evil smile like, I'm going to be coming for y'all. <laughs> and so Steffi, <laughs> they didn't have any audio and they just got her saying no no and then she turned and hugged Finn I know y'all are Steffi fans I don't mean to laugh at her but it's her <laughs> reactions and then they wasted a few seconds of by her just being so shaken up and scared and everything I'm sorry I know y'all Steffi fans I don't mean to laugh but anyway so they tell the judge how can you do this he said y'all didn't press charges and with this new evidence that's coming to light there's nothing I can do. Like, if you want to do something, you should have pressed charges, and you didn't. And they were like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. And then he said, I got the good, like, good day. And so they leave out, and then here comes Dollar Bill into the judge's chamber. Baby, he said, that vacation you gave us, oh, that was the best vacation we've ever had in our lives. Uh, those two weeks, oh, we loved it. I said, look at Bill. He paid this man all the way off or whatever. And so he told the judge, um, because he says, I'm thank you for, you know, helping. And he says, oh, no, it was it was no worries. But he doesn't say it like he paid him off or anything. He just, the judge is acting like, oh, the case came, um, and he tells Bill, because of that new evidence you brought me, I, you know, there was nothing I can do. I, it, it just wrote itself, you know, Sheila being out on, um, out and no charges pressed on her. And so Bill says, hey, can I use your phone? I, I said, you left this. Oh, dang. And he told Bill that we, because of the vacation, y'all, I'm going back a little bit. Because of that vacation, you know, my family is in your debt. And then so Bill says, oh, can I use your phone? Because the judge is about to leave now. He was like, yeah, go ahead. I said, well, God dang. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Bill just uh, paid this man all the way off. But y'all said it in the comments. Y'all told me, y'all said that's the same judge. Um, I think y'all told me Ridge had used or something. Anyways, child, so Bill called and make sure everything's set up for Sheila. And he about to leave out the office. And Steffi and Finn are there. And they said, we knew it. We knew it. We knew it was you. How could you do this, Bill? And he said, you know, well, you wanted your mama's freedom. So Sheila got her freedom. And she, uh, Steffi said, you don't care anything about me. You don't care about Finn. I mean, he just, he don't really know Finn like that. But okay, you don't care about Finn. I hate you. I hate you. I'll never forgive this for you. I will never forgive you for this, Bill. And what about Kelly and Beth, your granddaughters? Like, uh, Sheila is a threat to them. She'll do anything to get to Hayes. I said, well, y'all better double up on security. I'm not saying I don't feel sorry for Steffi Nim, but I'm just saying y'all should have pressed charges. Y'all y'all should have told. The same way Bill was able to pay off some judges and all that, y'all got money too. You should have told your dad what was going on and your mom and they could have worked something out so y'all could have pressed charges on Sheila. It is what it is at this point. It is what it is. They would have made a better storyline of Sheila and Taylor being in prison. You know, you know what I mean? They had to go to prison and all that. But anyways, child, 
I don't know. She just so disappointed in Bill, and Bill said, you know, no, I don't care. <laughs> he got his woman. He don't care. And so Finn and, and Steffi go home, and they're like, oh, I can't believe this. I can't be- Stop, Nikki. Stop making fun of this girl. Okay. They said, I can't believe Sheila is free. I can't not believe this. I can't believe this is happening. And so then at this time, uh, Taylor come in. Taylor comes in, right? And Taylor's all like, oh, my gosh. Tell me about the... Mm, I'm making fun of Taylor. And you know that's my girl. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Tell me about the good news, y'all. What, tell me what's going on. Ah, I'm so excited. You know what? I didn't like Taylor's suit. I don't know what it is about it, but I don't like that brown with the stripes down. I don't know. Maybe if it didn't have the stripes in the sleeves. If, I, I don't know what it is. But anyways, they said, she said, you, tell me. I want you to give me D. I, but she, Taylor is me. I want the details. I mean, slow down. I want every second of the details. Do not leave anything out. Tell me about the facial expressions. Tell me how, how they sounded. <laughs> and so she was excited. Tell me about Sheila going to prison. And they said, and they just had to tell her she's not going to prison. Taylor said, it's, it's say what now? And they said, mom she's not going to prison we didn't they didn't press charges and she said what what is going on what's happening and so they trying to tell taylor but she keeps interrupting i said let him speak taylor and so they said she's not going to prison because of bill and she said what does bill have to do this bill what i said taylor and they said well bill said if uh, we say that sheila shot us then he was gonna say that he's been shot by you mom oh my bad I'm sorry, Steffi fans. Let me stop. By you, mom. He was going to say he's been shot by you. And so, child, Taylor was like, what? And I said, y'all should have went ahead and told. I'm shocked because y'all know I borderline like Steffi. But I do, one thing I do like about her is Steffi going to stand 10 do- toes down in her truth. And if something is amiss, she going to speak on it. So I am shocked that she didn't say anything but i mean i guess she couldn't say anything because she had to give her mama uh you know a heads up there hey you might be going to prison so then baby sheila comes through and they told her wait right here she dressed in her street clothes and everything and she waiting to be released and they bring mike out and he said how why are you leaving and i'm stuck in here and i said oh mike you mad you mad at Sheila because she uh, she had she had you help her and now because of helping her you're stuck in prison. He said, "Girl, no, I'm not gonna be mad at Sheila." I said, "Okay, then, Mike." He said, "I can't I can't be mad at this girl. You know, I love her." And so Sheila said, "I thought you would be happy for me." And he says, "I am. I am happy that you're you know you're getting out." And he was like, "That was a good work getting Bill Spencer on your side." And Sheila tried to play it down. He said, "No, no, no. Mike accepts Sheila's for everything she is." He said, "No, that was good work. You did good doing that." And so then he tells her, "You know, I love you. I will always love you. Will you come visit me?" And she was said, "Um." I'll try. I say, girl, just tell this man you're not coming. <laughs> that that's a no. <laughs> that's a no. Anytime somebody says I tr- I'll try, that that means no because if you're gonna do it, you say okay, yeah, I'll do that. And so um, she said, I'll try. And he said, no, you don't have to come back to this place. I mean, who would want to come back here? All these bad memories and, and, you know, being locked up here and everything. That's okay. He said, but can you do me one favor? And she was like, what? And he puckered his lips up and, and baby, he wanted a kiss from Sheila. And so she acted like she was about to lean in. And then she slapped him and said, you bad boy. You are you naughty boy? I said, what? <laughs> you bad boy. I said, Sheila, what is the weirdness is going on here? Y'all need to stop. But baby, that's Sheila and Mike. I said, that's why these men love Sheila. She Whatever they need, she can be there. <laughs> she is exactly that. And so he was like, I'm glad for you um, getting out of here. And I'm glad you're going to be free. Uh, no matter where it takes you, just think about me. That's all I want. Just think about you to think about me in the yard and all that kind of stuff. I said, all right then, Mike. And so then Mike goes back to his cell and you heard the clank, clank of the uh of the door and that the guard said you're gonna be getting used to this sound i mean guard he already been in prison he's been used to this sound what are you talking about and so mike um mike sits down and he started reminiscing about sheila 
and all the things they've been through over the years. And he reminisced about that one time she kissed him. I said, baby, she got you sprung out over that one kiss. Bay, bay. And so anyways, then we go over here to Bill and Sheila. And she said, you did it. Oh my gosh, you did it. Oh, it's just, I'm so proud of you. And you stood up to everyone. And then you used your judge to help me. The way you blackmailed Steffi. The way you've done all of this. I'm just so proud and happy of you, Bill. Oh, thank you so much. And he said, you better not uh, make this make me regret this because you know Steffi and Finn had told him he's she's gonna come after the kids and he says I get I give you my word that she won't come after the children and they were like your word means nothing to me stop oh my gosh uh let me end this so I can stop making fun of this Steffi um but she's she said your word means nothing uh to me and so then now he's telling Sheila like don't be doing it don't don't make me uh regret this don't do anything um, that will make me disappointed in you and make me not want to have been with you or, or because he's, I'm putting a lot on the line for you, girl. So don't make me regret this. I said, but you said you can't hurt Sheila, but she, she has to do everything right. So she can't hurt you. Okay. Okay. And that was the bold and the beautiful today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I will be going live, as I said it um, earlier, on Friday, January the 13th, 2023, um, 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 4 on the West Coast. If you can join, please do so. Thank you so much for um, your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.